Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Together SI. This is a new video series where we highlight an individual from the Staten Island community. Today, we are privileged to have Megan Corrigan joining us. She is a yoga and mindfulness instructor over at IS72, and she also is at Intox Fitness, where she teaches Pilates and yoga there as well. Megan, thanks so much for joining us. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you so much. So, Megan, what's life been like for you? I mean, my goodness, you go from having this busy schedule at uh, at school, teaching five classes, then you're going to Intox and you're an instructor there. What a whirlwind. What's life been like for you since things have kind of been shut down? So life has definitely uh, changed for me a lot, and I'm adjusting as the weeks go on. Um, at the moment, I am video chatting with my students, and we are using that to practice our yoga. This is the yoga shirt that the students made this year. It says Namaste and Rocco Lori's yoga and mindfulness class. Uh, shout out to them. And I miss all of them so much. Um, so that's been an adjustment, trying to just connect with them all the time. Um, as much as we normally do in school, it's difficult, you know. And um, for Intox, for the my classes, I teach on a machine. So we unfortunately can't use the room right now. So at the moment, I've just been uh, trying to get out there doing some free classes on my Instagram live, Muscle Meg. And uh, I'm not taking any money. Donations all go to On Your Mark for um, children with disabilities. So that's really what I'm focusing on right now throughout the week. Excellent. And we'll be sure to uh, have everyone look at the link below. We'll add the link and also add your handle for Instagram as well. It's very important. Cool. Uh, that's a great cause, Megan. So, uh, so, so, so good on you for Thank doing you. that. Now, Megan, you've also been busy with recovery. Uh, you were uh, yeah. positive for COVID-19. So uh, walk me through the whole process of the symptoms you first got when you first said, uh oh, something's not right to uh, the testing and what you went through. Yeah, so um, it was right after the schools closed when I came down with the virus. And um, fortunately, it was easier for me to get tested than other people. I've heard that it was it's a lot harder for other people to get tested. Um, I got tested uh, because my boyfriend and I both came up positive and he's a first responder. So they allowed us to get tested. Um, but it was it was not fun. Um, I must say that I, thankfully, because I take care of myself, I think on the regular and, you know, eat healthy and, and drink lots of fluids. I think that that helped me recover faster. Um, but, you know, the fever, body aches, uh, really bad headache, um, you know, about two weeks to fully feel like myself again. And, I'm just getting back to to myself just just now, really, since after school's ended. So would you so. say it was about two weeks long where you had these symptoms and you weren't feeling real well? Yeah, I would say it's about two weeks um, and no taste, no smell. That's no fun either. But thankfully, uh, we both recovered and we just, you know, pushed through and took care of ourselves. And that's really the most important thing is to like rest eat healthy, drink a lot of water and fluids, and just really take care of yourself. Great advice for all of us right now, trying to avo uh, uh, avoid uh, getting this and, and yeah. going, going through what you went through. So very informative to hear the symptoms that you did this right thing to go get tested and whatnot. So yeah. uh, very interesting stuff. Megan, thanks so much for the time. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay safe right. out there. All right, that was uh, Megan Corrigan joining us, uh, an instructor over at I-72 and Intox Fitness. Thank you so much for joining us here on Together SI. My name is Todd Bavon, reporting for the Staten Island Advance. We'll see you next time.